Invite a Budget Blind Style Consultant to show you how to transform your rooms just by changing your window coverings. Canada's number one choice for window coverings. Visit budgetblinds.ca today. And Moses joins us on our desk for our first look at sports and some of the best softball teams are in Lloydminster this weekend. Yeah, you got the under 12s, the under 10s, the under 18 Alberta Provincial Tournaments that got underway this morning with the Lloydminster Rebels and the Lloydminster Blues also competing. And we'll begin with those U18 Rebels taking on the River City Hurricanes. Now, bottom of the fourth, Rebels up 1-0. Erica Marshall with a base hit up the middle. Joe Doherty gets waved home and slides safely to nothing. Rebels. Next batter, Brooke Cassidy gets a hold of the pitch for another base hit. That cashes in two more Lloydminster runs. They're now up four zip. They would add another pair in the inning. Jay Lee will ground out. There would be a play at the plate. Cassidy just beating the tag. The Rebels would cruise to a 6-0 victory to open up the tournament. Now sticking with softball, Lloydminster has produced some national players along the pipeline. And this week they added another to that list. Edmonton's Madison Clark played her ball with the Lloydminster Rebels from the age of 13, becoming the 15th Rebel to represent her country. Now, Clark is training in Surrey, BC with the Junior National Program, getting ready for the Canada Cup. The 19-year-old says her success is due to what the program has to offer. Coaching and instruction from the Rebel softball helped me get where I am today. I'm from Edmonton. I'm not even from Lloydminster. And I wanted to play for them because I knew they had the best coaching, the greatest team, and it just, it was a good fit. Clark's longtime coach, Brett Harvey, knew very early that she would be something special. Always worked really hard, you know, was always eager to learn, to improve, you know, try, would try things, um, you know. And so, so it made it really easy. And, and I mean, you know, of course, anything like that is gradual and improvement. But I mean, you know, she was always improving, even still. She's still improving, right? She's always trying to get better at something. Um, and so, it, you know, as a coach, it makes it, you know, uh, real, real easy to get motivated to help them as much as you can, too, when you know how much they want to do it for themselves. He probably taught me the most of pitching that I have ever know. He was teaching me pitches and I was always the kid that I would get so frustrated in the gym and not want to do a drill but he was the type of coach that you keep going until you get it you know there's no no taking breaks it's hard 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 so he he was really played a big role in where I am today. Clark will also get her first taste of international softball later this summer in Oklahoma for the World Championships. Now to the second round of the Dakota Dunes Open, which teed off this morning. Lloydminster's Clint Schiller opened the day at three under, but today was definitely not his day. Seven bogeys led to a two over 74, putting him at one under after 36 holes. The projected cut is at five under, and that is your first look at sports. Welcome back everyone. The greatest show on earth kicks off tonight down in Calgary and the CPCA will be re represented at this GMC Rangeland Derby. Now there will be eight household names that have been to the Stampede before, but there are two new faces making their first appearance. In this week's Inside the CPCA, Brett Morton caught up with Dallas Dick and Dave Galloway before they head down to Cowtown. Dick currently sits fourth place in the CPCA standings heading into Calgary. It has taken Dallas 12 years to achieve this feat, and he is ready to prove he can race against the best. I think in uh, this game, it's everybody's goal to make Calgary, and uh, ever since I was a little kid, I uh, wanted to be there. Uh, as a kid, I played out in Outrider, you know what I mean, just playing on bikes and stuff like that. And then, uh, you know, after I did the Outriding thing, started driving wagon, and then finally made it to Calgary. It's like a dream come true. So, Going into the biggest race of his career, Dick isn't going to let the atmosphere get to him. Like nerves is just like any other race, the way I, I'm going to, you know, that's the way I got to think, you know, you start looking in the crowd and see there was lots of people, then you aren't going to get nerves, but we'll just play it just like we play it at home, just do the best that it can do, so. For Galloway, he is 16th in the standings and hasn't had the start to the season he wanted, but is ready for the Derby. Yeah, I think so. We made some changes tonight that, uh, you know, we're going to stick with and uh, the results were good. And so hopefully we can, you know, keep those horses the, the same and, and go into Calgary with, with three solid outfits. Galloway grew up racing pony wagons, but has always had a goal to make it to the Calgary Stampede. I made a business plan and, and, and a plan to, to do it seriously and try and make the Calgary Stampede and, and we've made it happen. And so, you know, I'm very uh, humbled and privileged to be able to do it. For Galloway, not only is he going down to do well, he would also like to help out the CPCA. 
everyone in the CPC and in this association is counting on us to, to put on a good performance and try and gain some spots for the CPC in Calgary for the following year. So, you know, I feel that I owe that to the club and the other members here. Both drivers have high expectations for themselves down in Calgary. It would be really nice to go there and, and run 10 days penalty free. Um, I think that's what everyone tries to do. Um, you know, obviously it'd be nice to be in the top 16 to be invited back there as well. But. No, just go there and run clean and run clean and lots of times if you can run clean there, you'll be in top 16. So that's my goal. So. Brett Morton, New Cap Sports.